हेलो गाइस माय नेम सिद्धार्थ वार्डे एंड दिस इज यूनिटी एडवांस्ड मेट वन आंसर एट सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज गार्बेज कलेक्शन व्हेन वी शुड डू जीसी इन यूनिटी और सी शार्प व्हाट्स द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर डूइंग दैट राइट सो गार्बेज कलेक्शन इज नथिंग बट अ प्रोसेस ऑफ फ्रीइंग अप द मेमरी दैट इज अनयूज सो लाइक इट्स अ प्रोसेस ऑफ डीअलोकेटिंग द अनयूज मेमरी बट इट इन सी शार्प और यूनिटी इट हैपन्स ऑटोमेटिकली सो दैट्स द थिंग अबाउट लाइक गार्बेज देर इज अ देर इज अ क्लास कॉल्ड गार्बेज कलेक्टर दैट डज दैट डज द वर्क सो uh like so uh the garbage collector will free up all the memories and that process is called as a garbage collection uh when we should do gc in c sharp so uh, uh the incremental gc is good in c sharp so what it does is like uh, the process of garbage collection will happen over multiple frames right so it will not uh, you know st- stop your game or shut out your game or uh, there will not be uh, like the la- uh, lag will not f- be felt in the game and try to avoid uh, gc as much as possible by reusing the memories so uh, you know like uh, don't uh, don't create any temporary variables and stuff try to avoid those don't use strings try to use string builder instead of that then uh, those kind of things you know like uh, don't to create even a single variable inside an upda- uh, uh, in a method like update uh, create every single variable outside of the method so like there are no temporary variables and there is no uh, memory allocation temporary memory memory allocation so uh, like there won't be a need of gc a lot so try to do or try to use object pooling and stuff don't create instantiate and delete objects uh so that would be the best practice for gc and what's the best time for doing that like if we are doing it manually then the uh, best time differs in every game so like uh uh when mainly it would be between the scenes let's say uh you know like uh, while lo- unloading one scene and while loading another scene so that uh, in that kind of places we can do something like that but to uh, uh incremental gc is good c++ versus c sharp why c++ is considered faster okay so there are a lot of differences between c++ and c sharp and uh, like language level differences some like c++ is considered a mid level or low uh, mid level language while c sharp is higher level language uh, and there are many many things that are uh, like very different in c++ and c sharp for example uh c++ doesn't allow multiple inheritance while c sharp uh, sorry c sharp doesn't allow multiple inheritance while c++ does and stuff like that so like c sharp is the latest version of uh, c sharp is latest version and uh, the uh, and another very major difference between both of them is that uh, c sharp supports garbage uh, like c sharp has a garbage collection system so like uh, uh there is no deallocating memories it happens automatically uh, while the garbage coll- uh, from uh, the gar- uh, the garbage collector does that so that's the thing about c++ and c sharp and why is c++ considered faster so there are mainly two reasons that can be one is the garbage collection itself because like we are not allo- deallocating memory whenever we c- you know in c++ what we can do we allocated a memory and whenever we want to we can deallocate that memory but in c sharp uh, like uh, we cannot do that we can allocate the memory but we cannot deallocate it uh, whenever we want right so we need to run the garbage collector and when we run it like it will scan all the memories and delete all the unused uh, un- uh, yes uh, unused references of all the objects and stuff so uh, like it will deallocate all the unused memory so that that process is uh, quite uh, quite slow because the like you know uh, since we have like some nowadays we have 4 gb of ram on 8 gb of ram that's a lot of ram and um, the gc will scan all entire memory of the application uh, so like uh, let's say if our application allocated uh, 2 gb of ram so like it will scan all the 2 gb of ram and uh, un- uh, deallocate all the like free up all the unused memories right so 
this process can be uh, slow so that's the reason i would say uh, thank you i guess